Inside of Blender 3.4, I am in sculpt mode. I'm going to go to the left to snake hook. I'm going to tap S, get a larger draw size, and I can snake hook. Now, just like in ZBrush, right, you snake hook, you pull, 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 and then things get really, really nasty. That's normal. Don't freak out. It's okay. How would I Dynamesh this? To Dynamesh, and this is actually a really cool feature inside of Blender, it's not called Dynamesh. It's called Voxel Remesh, which is up here, but we're not going to play with any of that. We don't need it. I'm going to press Shift R, and then you'll notice I get this grid. So I can hover my stylus left and right, and all this is doing is it's essentially going to make my faces that size. So this is a nice way to visualize what I'm going to get. ZBrush does not have this. So let's say I wanted to go like that, each polygon roughly like that. I have to actually confirm the voxel remesh, which would be control R. And now it has done that voxel remesh at a lower resolution. So let's press control Z, undo that. Let's do a different size. So shift R to visualize and let's make, um, you know, something like that. Control R, you can see that it does that Dynamesh feature. Now let's say you wanted to Dynamesh now I'm saying Dynamesh, it's voxel remesh inside of Blender. Let's say you wanted to remesh two objects together. I'm going to press four on my keyboard, go up to add mesh, and let's add a cube. That looks good. Let's say I wanted these two to be welded together like Dynamesh in ZBrush. So I'm going to hold shift, left click both of those. I can go to object down to join. Looking good. Next up, I'm going to press five on my keyboard. That takes me back to sculpt mode. Uh, my cube is a different color because when you join two things together, it's essentially going to make this a face set, which can be super helpful. Face sets are poly groups. So I'm going to go up to face set from visible. My sphere turned blue on me. Now, if I were to sculpt on this, they're still not one piece. They're not connected. So what I'm going to do is press shift R to visualize that voxel remesh, pick my resolution by clicking, and then I'm going to press control R to actually confirm this. This seals the deal. And then let's get clay strips. These have been welded together. We are good to go. 